What's up guys and welcome back to Paper Mario Color Splash and today we're going to be heading into Plum Park because in the last episode we were in dark blue in the haunted hotel and while we were able to get all six of the ghost toads together we need the purple kettle to start their tea party. That sounds like utter nonsense if you didn't last watch the last episode but that's your fault because you didn't watch the last episode. <laughs> Alright then let's head into Plum Park. Ooh, I like this. You look familiar. Do you have a brother or a twin or something? A guy named L Luki, maybe? No, that's not it. Anyway, I'm the creator here at Plum Park. This park is owned by, by and op operated by the Dark Blue Inn. The purest water in all of Prism Island flows through this park. Speaking of water, my manager has asked me to keep an eye out for the missing teapot, but that's above my pay grade. <laughs> Oh great, so you haven't seen a teapot around. Nope, I'm just a greeter here. I usually hang out by the entrance. Too bad we don't have a lot, we have a lost and found here. Oh, I should suggest that. It would give you a boost in pay. <laughs> well, Mario, I guess it's up to us to find that teapot. I guess it is now, isn't it? Thanks for being helpful. Tell me about my brother, Lugi. Don't talk to him that way. So is Luigi actually in this area? I mean, that'd be cool to find him. We found him in a... Uh... Uh, Blue Bay Beach, it'd be cool to find them here. So in the last episode I talked about, I quickly mentioned how I don't like plums and some people asked why. I don't know, they just don't make me feel good when I eat them. They like, just make me feel sick. So you know what, if you know, if I'm right next to you and there's a plum and you want the plum, just help yourself. Okay, there. now we're clear, good. <laughs> All right, let's fill up this spot and then, oh, there you go. Coins, wonderful coins. Did we miss any, like this, a lot of this is like white, but it's not unpainted white, it's just white. So it's sort of weird, oh, well, what did I say? It's weird because I feel like I'm gonna miss something and I already almost did. This one looks almost broken. Oh, because I can sneak in and there's, oh, is that a swimming sniffet? What happens if I fall in the, okay, that's, oh, painful and evil. There's monsters inside. Okay, what is going on here? We got ourselves a red sniffet and a green spike sniffet. That's a lot of sniffing. Why don't we use, hmm. All right, you're jealous of my mask, admit it. I will admit that you are going to be jealous about how good I am at beating you up here in a second. I don't know how strong they are, so I guess I'll also get an iron boot out. Like, honestly, I'm just not really clear on that. Well, let's give this a shot and see. Ready? Ooh, all right, okay, that was a nice. It could have been better, though, in my opinion. Oh, man, so, oh, no, it's gonna hop on him. That's what I was hoping for, and that's how it worked out, and I got rid of him. Now, what about you, dude? Ooh, oh man. Okay, luckily we were able to dodge that, but it still did a lot of damage. Hmm, well he doesn't have much health, so honestly, I think I'll just use a normal jump if I have one. I honestly might not. Here, you know what? We have like a double hop slipper, which I'm never ever gonna use in an actual situation where it might be helpful, so I might as well just boop, and just keep hopping on it until, uh, there you go, he's out of health, which he is currently. So there you go. That was not a perfect battle, but that's okay. We're closing in on 10,000 coins. Like the next time we enter a Rochambeau temple, which I'm sure will be soon enough because we did unlock another one in the previous episode. Uh, oh gosh, nope. Okay, so if we hop out of the water soon enough. What is this? Hmm. No, 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 no. Okay, I got out of there there. That's actually pretty tricky. But there's like an unblossomed flower. Maybe we'll find a way to blossom that? That'd be interesting. So this seems to be its own path altogether. Oh, it's a big shy guy, so cute. <laughs> I feel like maybe we should go down this way first. Like go down the main path, see what's going on. Cause I have a feeling like the second path, like what if there's something I need from the first path first? I just sort of feels like how the game sometimes goes. So there's not really too much around here besides paint. But this is pretty cool. You can do the lily pad hopping. The shadow really, really helps, but it's also mildly disorienting. Unfortunately, there was nothing to really gain from that besides paint. Should have probably looked at it before I jumped. All right, what are you, what are you gonna sign? What? There you go. It's a toad, normal one. The bridge is out. There's no way I'm risking getting all soggy. I'm out of here. All right, goodbye. Well, I am willing to risk getting all soggy, so can I go past? Cleansing rapids, no cleansing allowed. Well, we got a lot of rule breakers around here. So I'm guessing then the best way is to go around. So I just had to double check, I had to make sure. People were like, oh, Zebra, that was so useless. You should've just kept going the other way. Well, I did it the way I wanted to. Hmm. And I'm happy for it. Now I'm gonna hit this guy. Oh, okay, just a one-shot takedown. <laughs> All right, bada-boom. That is a double hammer right there. 
but it's cool that we can take care of normal Shy Guys with just one hammer shot now. Ooh, and there's, okay, so we are definitely where we're supposed to be. Another double hop slipper. Not really something I need. The e-camera times two is new. Oh, there's little pieces here that need to be filled in. I feel like I need to go back and check that. This is gonna be a sneaky level. Like, Blue Bay Beach was super tough too because I had this like these tiny little spots just like that. I don't see any, but I gotta be careful. This music here sounds like a stealth area, like we're supposed to be hiding for something. In some way we are, if we fall in the water. I mean, I guess you can call it water. I gotta repaint you first, I'm trying to talk to you. Oh, it's a purple toad. So these are pure wa the pure waters of beautiful Plum Park, huh? Those guys at the hotel are a big fat liars. This park is poisonous. Okay, do you have anything else to say? Uh, yep, okay then. So yeah, they are pure, well, I mean, we've already gotten hurt by it, so. But I wonder if it's always been like that. You know, buddy, oh, gotcha. Not a problem, not a problem. Let's get this. All right, I'm trying to keep my eyes out for all of it. And there is the iron jump time, ooh. That sounds powerful. I'm guessing there's gonna be like a lot of spike helmet guys then. There's a hammer. I gotta see a lot of these little spots. Luckily they're easy to fill up, so once you do it, you do it, it's fine. Or it's just that in between where I'm trying to look for them and I'm scared I'm gonna miss one. Oh, no, 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 don't fall down the water. I'm worried that the waterfall is gonna ruin me. What is this then? Um, oh my. Oh, it's a bit of a shortcut. Well, not a shortcut because it leads somewhere else. Weird. This whole area is super peculiar. And go! No! <laughs> you really gotta time that one. Come on now. Ready? Ooh, yeah! Got it, got it. There's nothing up here besides coins, it looks like, but how are you guys doing? I hear they replaced the fountain with some garish teapot. Not really my thing. Tea is coffee's annoying little brother. Wow! Jerk much? That's just. I don't know. <laughs> Tea's like such a. Good drink, though. I hear that the famous pop star is performing in front of the fountain. What, what, okay, the shy guys are all about it, but the snippets are a little more discerning. Okay, I guess, I guess it's sort of snippets either, or hold themselves to a higher standard then. Well, I'm not interested. Not interested in all this, you know, being above everybody else, blah, blah, blah going on here. Big jump, yeah, we made it. Okay, then let's go around this way again. Let's see what's going on on the other side. I saw a lot of like unpainted puzzle pieces that I don't think we're gonna be able to get from here. It's very peculiar, this whole area, and there's more of those unblossomed flowers. Uh, They're barrel riding. Oh. Oh, he didn't have one. Oh, poor guy. Nobody wanted the car pull with him, or barrel pull with him, whatever. Whoa, it's bloopers. Oh, that's so cool. You know, we, we keep going to levels that have the name Blue in them, I and mean, we haven't found a single blooper until now. You know what's also weird? Is that, you know, we just went through a haunted, like, hotel, or just a haunted place in general in the last episode, and we didn't see a single boo or typical haunted Mario enemies. Isn't that funny? Oh, look, Yellow Toad. Mario, I heard that the golden, the garden's water had been poisoned, so I came to investigate, but I can't find the water source. It's supposed to be somewhere around here. It's too bad that the big stage is blocking my view. Apparently there's some pop star performing. Uh, what? Seems kind of suspicious to put it put on a concert when the garden is poisoned. Unless it's an evil concert. I'll just watch the concert from back here and look for clues while I sing along. It's <laughs> while you sing along? Okay. <gasps> okay, no, 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 no! Oh, I tried to make the jump. I really messed that up though. Okay, this is not good. But I should be able to do it. I mean, I just hope that, you know, like, Mario's trousers don't shrink while he's wearing them. That might be uncomfortable. Let's go ahead. I'll put on a hammer. I'll do this. And that should be good. But the thing is, I think that more Sniffins will be attacking me as soon as I get out of here. So I gotta be super careful about that. But a boom. Got him there. Oh, that was easy. All right. So let's get rid of you guys. Ken, are you, dude? You're only one. There's a perfect battle, though. That's nice. Come on. I need to be able to hop because I'm pretty sure the rest of them, yep, are just gonna get started on me. So let's. No, no, no. All right, I probably should have taken that time to get the rest of this. Hmm, okay, no, no, oh, okay, at least I hopped on him. All right, so we might as well go this way now. I see a shy guy over there, he's just waiting. Oh my gosh, I don't know how much I trust this, but I do wanna face the bloopers at least once. Oh wow, wait, wait what if I get hit by them? Just like, I like seeing every new enemy at least once, right? So, we haven't gone against bloopers, and it seems like it'd be really, really fun. They're all poison bloopers, though, so I don't know what poison really means. 
like in this game how that's gonna work. But I'm gonna use um this, and I think if this doesn't work out, should be at least able to take care of most of them. I don't know how much health they have, how much damage they do, what kind of their attacks are, so let's see. I mean, the, the closest thing we've battled is a cheap cheap, but it looks like the, like the, uh, oh boy. Oh, got it. Oh man, we couldn't get all of them though. So what are you gonna do? Ooh. Oh, okay, we blocked it. <laughs> that was cool. Oh wait, no, we still got it. Oh, I think we had got attacked by the poison water or maybe his poison? It's so hard to tell sometimes. How about we throw a Goomba out? Just for the fun of it. Um, does a Goomba attack? I sure hope he does. I don't know, maybe I'm just gonna get totally let down here. But I gotta see what this does. Goomba, I hope you don't drown. <laughs> you probably are gonna drown. Oh, come on, Goomba. Help me out here, dude. Luckily, I think he's gonna attack the Goomba. Hey, the Goomba takes the shot for me, which is great. Oh, no, the poison water still gets me, though. All right, what is an item I have plenty of that I can use here? I have like 30,000 spinies in my inventory. I'm not kidding. So I'm gonna use two of them and not even get close to knocking down the amount that are in my inventory. So let's just go and throw those guys out. I can only hope that they can help. We have two of them now, so ooh. Okay, that got him. Okay, cool, we only needed to use one. But I don't mind wasting the other. All right, there's all those guys. Don't fall in the water. There's a blooper. Cool, cool, cool. I don't exactly need the coins, but I do want the hammer progression. Hmm, I don't want to be in this water any more than I have to, so I'm gonna avoid that. Here's another hammer. It feels like it's easy to get lost around here for sure. And I don't know if I missed anything previously. I don't think yet. It's just crazy. I guess this is where all the crazy like hedge maze is going on. I mean, that's why it's sort of puzzle symboled. And this is another line jump. I will take it. Let's fill this up. And I think this will start moving once we fill it up. Yes, it will. Then what's over there to the left again? Oh, look at that, it's a fire flower. Or maybe not. Hmm. Let's fill it up, it's all purple though. Maybe it's a poison flower. That'd be cool. Get that like that. Over here, over there. And over up here and down there. And there we go, we got it. Ooh, two ice flowers and a big mushroom. Very cool. All right, let's head back down here. I don't think we'll need a big mushroom anytime soon. We've barely needed the normal mushrooms because they restore 40 health, I mean. That's pr pretty much plenty most of the time. Whoa, it's a piranha plant. Oh man, that is cool. Can I get over there? Well, I'm seeing a lot of stuff here. This is a big jump. And then, oh wow, we made a way around. I didn't even realize it. All of my friends got in the buckets and went to the show without me. Now I'm gonna miss the show. Well, maybe this dude, you know, right above your head has a bucket, but he's a piranha plant. Um, How can we get up there? He's like looking at us. Oh, it's sort of creepy. Uh, oh, I could get over here. Doesn't bring me very far, though. Here, big jump! Oh, no! <laughs> I tried, I tried. What does that give me? Just a hammer. Definitely worth it. <laughs> oh, boy. And then, like, these lead paths just don't seem to lead anywhere. Hmm. Very weird. Like, I feel like I'm definitely missing some details! How can I get up to this, dude? Oh, you know what, maybe I could use cutout somewhere. Let me stand here and, no, not quite. Hmm. It definitely feels like I can use cutout somewhere. I'll have to look around. All right, well, we still have this way to go through, so we might as well. And this is where things really become a maze. Oh my. Yeah, how do we get back there? Oh man, it looks like there's a whole, no! <laughs> whole other area. Oh yeah, and that's, how we would probably sneak back there to get whatever, like that piece of unpainted area there. And I don't know, this feels like definitely it's gonna take a few visits to really clear up. This is one of the most complex levels again. It's cool, it's a very cool level, but like, geez, calm down, game. All right, let's get this stuff. No, <laughs> I'm glad we can do that. It makes it so much easier. Hmm, there's still more stuff I could get back up there. <clears throat> and I'm gonna try for here for right now. There's stuff everywhere. Like, how are we doing progression-wise? Just so I can get an idea how big this level is. Status, we have, we've colorized 91% of Plum Park. So that's good, that's really, really good. And then we got the big iron jump. That's good as well, what do you know? Ah, now we can break this and maybe get up on the roof? Up on the rooftop? Ooh, okay! Wait, what happens if I hop on, wait. Uh, well, that might not actually do too much for me, but I, I gotta try. Okay, now I'm up here. No, it doesn't do anything. Okay, I tried. Well, maybe it could. 
Let me try one more time. Let me give me another. Give it. Give it another honest shot. Yeah. Oh. Jump. Ah, oh, I don't think you can. Okay. It would be cool if there was, but it doesn't look like it. All right. So, Mr. Piranha Plant. Ah. Oh no, he got me. <coughs> oh no, he got me. Ouch. Wow, that was a lot of damage. Okay. What should we do about this dude? Well, it's just. I don't think I want to jump on a guy like that. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a triple of these hammers and then I'm gonna use the ice flower. Okay, one more time, one more time, one more time. Got it. Oh man, I might not even need this. I start looking at him. He's like, oh, I'm gonna puke. Oh, got it. Oh, got it. Nice. Okay. Very cool. And down he goes. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, that's the barrel. I thought it was like a cannonball for a second. Oh no! It's, oh, I feel so bad. I mean, the guy wasn't really paying too much attention, but, oh, poor guy. Well, I guess we should go check out this concert, right? Oh, well, maybe, maybe, maybe not, okay. Whoa, whoa, we can just ride it around. This is pretty cool. Still can't do anything about these flowers. Okay, hold on. <laughs> I don't know if I can bump into these guys, so I do have to be careful. But it is just fun to cruise it. Wee, whoa, whoa. And I guess this is just an easy way to get across now. Now, oh gosh, until you fall in, until you fall in. Very easy to fall in. Hmm. Well, it doesn't seem like there's any additional areas we can go to that we couldn't currently reach. So we might as well go down this way. We can hang out with the yellow toad a little bit more. Like, hey dude, how you doing? No, maybe, maybe not. Oh, there he is. Oh, wait a minute. Do you guys see who's in here right now? I totally missed that before. I want to. I think that I think he's a uh, Luggy, maybe. No, I think it's Luggy. I think that's his name. Uh, hurry up! The show's about to start. Okay. Don't tell me what to do. What is? What? Oh, I saw Koopas. Whoa! Oh! Oh, look at him go! Did they have a little dance going on? Oh! When did we fall so madly in love? <laughs> I don't know how the song goes. The plump pursed lips. What? The overdone purple eye shadow. You only call me by moonlight. What? Who are we talking to? Ooh. Oh my gosh. It's Birdo. No way! Two hearts in Doki Doki Panic! I don't know how the song goes. It's something you'd have to like listen to twice. My heart flutter jumps. It would probably be longer though. <laughs> this is just like, she has her own song. Kiss me, my darling. Oops, there's an egg on your face. That is so gross. The <laughs> Koopas love it though. And that's it. It ended as quickly as it started. Birdo's a bit past her prime, but she's still got the moves. Wow. Birdo making an official appearance in a Paper Mario game. My investigation of the concert confirmed my suspicions. Jazz hands are the height of entertainment. I mean, those hands are unnaturally jazzy. I've got to tell the captain about those jazz hands at once. As for you, why don't you go and try to find that fountain? I'm trying, don't worry. Toad number one of the Yellow Rescue Squad reporting for duty. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must report to my captain in the sacred forest immediately. I think that's our sixth toad. Well, there's still a uh, loogie over there. Uh, that was unexpected. I might have to pick that album up. Uh, I don't know if you want to. The coast is clear, let's make a look around. Or take a look around. What in the world just happened? I, what, what, what? Oh, the balloons. Oh, cool, I did. I thought they were just items. I didn't really notice that they weren't, they were things. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm loving this. This is so cool. All right, I got the balloons. Makes things roll off into the sky and races voices by an octave or two. Ah, maybe that later, later mention might be something to listen about. Oh, there it is. Okay, can I check any of the other ones or am I too short? Looks like I'm too short. And it looks like there's nothing else around. I just can't believe we just saw a, you know, an appearance and performance by the legendary Birdo. It's once in a lifetime. 
Can I help out my brother here? Well, what if I... Ah, I see. Let's get back over here. There you go. All right, Luigi. We're gonna break you through. That's your name, right? Sorry, I'm just teasing Luigi. I'm just teasing. I promise I'm just teasing. I don't mean to make fun of you that much. Okay, so there's Luigi. He's on the gamepad right now. He's like, oh, hey. I'm free. <laughs> oh, wait, maybe I could turn the gamepad up so you guys can hear that. I don't know. He just sort of said a little, ha-ha, and now he's running away. Bye, Luigi. That was really it. He just sort of jumped down and said, ha-ha, and then just gave me coins. It wasn't as interesting as the shower dilemma, but hey, two Luigis found. I don't know how many there are in the game, but it's still cool to see, right? Okay, so we still have, wait, should I actually, maybe it might be quicker and easier if I travel by barrel? Because there was still more to explore, and another issue is that we have not found the star. So let me hop into here, and please don't hit you. Okay, so it actually doesn't do anything if I hit you. Okay, never mind then. But if we go back this way, this is gonna be my goal. My goal right now is to go back and to uh, go down the way we, we came from. And maybe, like, I don't see, like, what advantage any of that gave us besides the knowledge of what the kettle looks like. Like, besides that, we're just as lost, right? I mean, I guess. Hmm, because we haven't gone down here yet, but there is a little healing station, which I'll gladly take if I, I need to jump. There you go. Uh, that looks like it's it here. Let's go down this one. Because, oh my, this is a dead end again. Oh, it's Yellow Toad, but not a rescue squad. I hope no one fishes out the coins I threw into the fountain. Uh, I mean, I might. Uh, what does this say? Uh, found a truth, toss the coin and whisper a wish. That sounds cool. What happens if I just hop in? Ow, I can get tons of coins. But where am I supposed to stink and go? <laughs> That's what I wanna know. I don't know. Can I toss a coin? No? All right. Well, I guess I'm done here. Uh, Yeah, I mean, what more can I do? Can't go this way. This is the way we just came from, which helped us wrap around for the barrel, but this area is so weird. It's just so hard to progress in. Oh, maybe I can, ah, I can break that one. This looks like it's just gonna lead off to a secret, but yeah, it just looks like it's gonna lead off here. Yeah, how do I break this darn thing open? Because I can't paint that from here. Because it looks like there has to be a way then to open that. Hmm, very odd. I don't know. This place is a little loopy. There's two new shy guys here. What are these guys doing? Oh, they have a barrel. I heard that the story block backdrop from the show was really just a flimsy wall full of holes, so we could probably break through it then. Have you seen Terry around? Wasn't he in the back of the line when we jumped in our buckets? Poor Terry. Maybe we should go back then. If it is just a flimsy wall, I guess that's something I didn't really piece together. We could just probably knock it over. Also, the stormy clouds in the background are pretty ominous. This game really knows how to set a setting. I'm going the wrong way, actually. Okay, I'll be right back. Well, let's give it a smack. Oh my gosh, that worked. <laughs> That's all I needed to do. I was like, yeah, I pieced it together. I'm the master puzzle solver. Just call me Mario, Mr. Uh, Sherlock something. Okay, good one. Save. There you go. So let's save this. I'm guessing that something's not gonna be coming to the fruition here if we have to save like that. Uh, all right, I'll give it a squeeze if that's what I can do right now. Oh, this is poisoning everything. Oh, okay. Well, now we have this, and this is what we can put in the Glorbach. Excuse me? Glorbach, knock it off. Glorbach, blah, blah, blah. Okay, you see I'm poisoning here? What is this? Ah, it's Petey. Oh, sweet freedom. Yum, locally, you shall rule the day. Glub, 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 glub. What am I thinking? These guys can't understand me anyways. I love it. This guy's awesome, it's Petey Piranha. He's from Super Mario Sunshine. I think, well, I think, I don't know if that's the first game he showed up on, but um, I don't know how we're fighting this guy. 
More fine PD? He's PT Piranha. I get it. I get it. It's a good one. Hmm. Let's do. Let's do our double iron jump, maybe? I don't know them. Hmm. Okay, let's try it. Yeah, let's give it our best shot. And see how this works out. I don't know if this is gonna be the best decision, but we might as well try. Ready? Oh, why he ate me! Well, there goes that idea. Oh gosh, I might actually die on the first try here. So note to self, that didn't do anything. Oh my gosh, what? What do I do here? Okay, let's store my cards. That way all of, what is something that's good against T? Obviously not balloons, a plunger, piggy bank, lemon? <laughs> my choice is always, is it lemon? Probably not. Um, I don't know then. Cause that hammer definitely didn't do anything to him. And I don't want to jump on him again cause he ate me. I'll try that one more set of hammers and I'll try a fire flower. And if not that, then I am clueless. Bleep clap clock. I know, I know buddy, I know, let it all out. Ooh. Okay, I hit him. It's not, oh wait, no, it's hitting him from, the, oh that's right, it's, it's hurting him from the butt up, not the other way around. I thought it wasn't hurting him, it's just that, oh, okay. Oh boy, okay, I blocked it, that was good. Oh, he's getting dizzy. Oh, maybe now I can hit him on his big old doofy head. All right, I'll do that in a second. First, I gotta heal up, because I definitely need to do that. Let's, uh. oh no, I'm, I'm fresh out of mushrooms. I have made a lot of mistakes in my life, but this might be one of the biggest. Uh, let me, I guess I gotta use the big mushroom. I didn't wanna use something like that, but. And now I'm regretting because I already used a double iron jump. Oh well, we'll just use another iron jump. There you go. And that should fill me up all the way, which is good because I don't need that. I might need to just restart my save when things go horrible. All right, so there's plus 100 health, and then ready, boop, bop. I guess I should have taken the, if he's dizzy, then maybe I should have taken the opportunity now to, uh, I don't know, he, like, uh, not heal and then wait for the turn where he's actually prepared? I don't know. Either way, I don't think he's gonna be able to stop me here. All right, we're doing some decent damage to him. I wish I had more giant stuff. Ready? Oh wow, it really is like Mario Sunshine so far, his big old belly. Okay, okay. Oh, no. Oh, I did not time that well whatsoever. Okay, so he's back being his scary self. So maybe I should just use Another throwable hammer. I'm getting low on paint, actually, which is the first time that's ever happened. All right, ready, set, ooh, got it. That wasn't bad. Well, let's try to, the fire flower, not mess it up like the other flower I did. Ooh, there you go, there you go, there you go. It was an excellent. I think that's some good damage to him. Let's see what happens. No, he's still in this. We blocked that, though, that was pretty good. This is intense. Um, hmm. I honestly am not entirely sure what we could do that might help. Maybe we should use one of our replica cards and just hopefully that'll help. Like the fire extinguisher. And then we'll use, hmm, just a normal hammer. And then after this, we definitely gotta go card shopping. We gotta sell a lot of stuff, we gotta buy a lot of stuff. All right, ooh. Here it comes, it's a fire extinguisher for one reason or another. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, you're gonna be so freaking out. I love it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, let's see what this does to him. He's at like a full head of health right now, so let's see if this changes things up for him. This is so cool. He looks so, he just looks upset. He just looks like I just said something mean that like he th I was thought it was his friend and then I said that and then he's just not really sure anymore. Like he doesn't look up like you know like like actually in pain. Okay, well, okay, he spun and now he's definitely dizzy. So now I'm gonna go ahead and take advantage of that and use two more iron jumps. Actually, I'm gonna use an iron jump and a big jump. And let's see how that works out. Ready, set, fight. Ready. Okay, so far good timing. Man, he has so much health. He's one tough boss. Ooh. Come on, that did some decent work on him. I don't know if he's gonna hop back up now that we've been hitting him. It looks like it was as long as we continue not to mess up. I think that's all we need to do. All right, well, I'm out of giant stuff, so I might as well use a double iron boots. 
Man, this is intense. Okay, let's see. Oh, oh, oh. Come on. He's getting lower and lower. I mean, I'm just finding it so funny is PT Piranha. Like, this is the most ridiculous thing. Okay, he's only got like one, you know, little head top worth of damage. Oh, that's the, that's the painful thing right there. I cannot let that happen twice or just game over. All right. Maybe I could throw, all right, I'm just gonna do the same formula again. You know, if it's not really hurting me all that much right now, I might as well go for it. Ooh, come on! Yes, okay, but I need more. I need so much more. Ready, got it, got it, got it. He's so low, but he's not low enough. If he hits me for anything more than 16 damage, or for 16 damage, come on. Okay, that was only six. That's really good. Hmm. Well then I'm gonna hit him with a pow block and an ice flower and hope that's something noteworthy. Probably not. So I'm probably going to, yeah, mess that up. Okay, he's sort of like a little messed up right now. Come on, he's so low, he's so low. We got him! That was such a close battle. This is like the closest we've gotten to death in battle ever. Wow. Okay, let's get all this stuff before we hit the bucket, or kick the bucket, or whatever. Uh, I mean, I, I don't mean to hit Q, hit, <laughs> hit Huey. <laughs> well, geez. So there we go, we beat Petey Piranha, and now we can get the kettle for real this time. Jeez, we got the teapot. Used to, ste to steep our and pour tea at fancy tea parties. Well, oh, will there be, oh, the water is fine now, hopefully. So I just, he just likes poisoning people. It's just his thing. It's a weird thing to have, and it's not something I suggest, but look at it go, the water is going back to normal. Ah, oh, it's nice. Ah, now the flowers will blossom. What do they hold? Hmm, oh, here's the big one. How much would it but there's a star in there? Oh, there it is, the big old purple star. Well, not big, but many big old purple stars. Bigger than Mario, it's pretty big, right? Okay, well, it looks like we got that accomplished. Wait, does this, can, can this be painted here? Okay, looks like that tea bag guy was the source of the poison. This place smells way better now, and I almost smell the unmistakable scent of the paint star. Let's take a stroll through the, the park before we return to the teapot to the end, or, okay. I just had a hard time reading that whole sentence. Don't know why, still have 10 health, need to be on my toes. Let me save again. Before anything else, I gotta save again. Just in case the horrible unthinkable happens and somebody attacks me, I'll be able to handle it. So we can just sort of hop in ourselves, right? It's not as useful as being in the barrel still, of course, but wow, this place looks great now. It's beautiful. I mean, I'm totally you know glad to be here. The snippets are still chilling around, so we gotta be careful about that, but I mean, that's a small price to pay for what how like beautiful this is. I love it. And I like how these levels, like each level takes like about a half an hour to 45 minutes now. Like before it's like you could finish some levels in a little bit of a short amount of time. So what happens if I like, nothing. All right then, what about you guys? Do you have anything new to say? The water here is so nice. It makes a guy wanna obey the law. Yay, that's a good thing. If you approach the drawbridge in a bucket, it'll raise automatically. Technology is something, ain't it? Wait, what? No, no, you died to me. What do you mean? What is that supposed to mean, dude? I have no clue. Anyways, I wanted to sneak on back this way because there's still one more piece to find at the least that we saw. Did I go the wrong way though? Eh, it doesn't matter, I can still swim across. Yeah, it's right there in the background. Oh gosh, it squished me. Okay, that didn't do any damage. I was gonna say, if I die to that, of all things, I'm gonna be so done. But luckily, that's not the issue. Yeah, we can get back here. Okay, okay. Oh, and then get this. Ready? Nice. So there's a few more coins for us. Let me head back now and just see if there's anything else to accomplish now that things are swimmable. See, now they're not poisonous bloopers, they're regular bloopers. This is bad. This is really bad. I don't wanna use the teapot, of course. Oh man, what in the world am I gonna do about this? Uh, Maybe I can have a nice conversation with the gentleman and convince them not to destroy my face? Well, let's try to just get some combo moves up. Ready, set, ooh. All right, can I at least take care of one of them per jump? I cannot. 
I am so done for. These guys are tough. I cannot believe this is happening right now. <laughs> oh no, I don't wanna die in battle. I don't. Oh no. I'm probably gonna. Oh wow, that destroyed him all in one shot though. Whoa, we might survive. Oh no, 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 no. No, it went right past that one. Oh gosh. No. Oh, we have one health. We have one health. Okay, two more fire flowers. Two more fire flowers is all I need. Ready, fill this one up. Fill this one up. And then we just need to get this star and get the heck out of here. And then we can come back. <laughs> I don't mind coming back after that, but okay. Ooh. Ooh. All right, maybe it was a little overkill with the extra one, but hey, you can never be too sure when you have one stinking health. Oh man, too much action for one day, I'll tell you that much. There you go, got it. Okay, no, 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 no. Oh, I don't trust this. I don't trust this one bit. How do we get up there? Maybe I can, if I, how do I get up there? Yeah, I don't understand how we can get the barrel across. Hmm, maybe I'm missing something. Oh, what do you know? Can I still get up here now? Oh, now I can. I don't care why that doesn't make any sense. I'm just gonna accept it for what it is because I just really need to get that out of here. Maybe it'll give you a free health refill. I mean, it doesn't matter either way because I'm just gonna go ahead back to Port Prisma and get it there, but geez, what a close call. <laughs> All right, so there is plum something done. Wow, what a huge area. That is a lot of ground to cover. And we got the Rochambeau Temple. I think the next episode needs to be another Rochambeau focused episode. But for right now, that is Plum something, whatever it's called, Plum Park done. For now, there is another star in there. We could also go into the inn, but I definitely have to go back, buy some cards, restore some health. So we're gonna go and do that. All right, then I restored as much health as I possibly could, and I bought a few more cards now, and now I'm like well stocked in cards that actually matter. But there is actually a letter in the mailbox, so I figured we'd check that out while we are here. What you got for me, Toad? Hey, Mario, great timing, you've got new mail. Master Mario, this is the Dark Blue Inn. We understand you found our purple floral teapot. The manager here has thrown his back out, apologizing to the patrons awaiting their tea party. It would be lovely if you could bring the teapot you found back to the, our hotel as soon as possible. Dark Blue Inn. And here's another new letter for you. Exciting. Oh, it's Luigi again. He always sends us a letter when we catch him red-handed doing something silly. Hey, big bro, it's a Luigi again. The green plumber guy? Have you heard of this Rochambeau legend they're calling the Rock Paper Wizard? I heard a rumor that if you beat him, you'll win a super rare card. I'd like to see it, so try to win it if you can. Sure, I'll do anything for my bro. Remember, you can always reread old letters, just open up the menu, I, I, tap items, and then tap the mail icon. Okay, I'll keep it in mind, I'll keep it in mind in Deedle. All right then, so we are done here. We can head out, and then we can go back to the, the, the mansion hotel. Ah, the shy bandit again. No, 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 no. Okay, this dude, catch him before he slurps up all the color. Oh, I'm gonna beat him. I'm gonna beat him there. I'm gonna stink and I got you. Ooh, I beat you there, buddy. Ah, you stink. All right, you chase up the shy bandit. We get a bonus 300 coins. Don't even have to deal with him this time. Nice and fun. <laughs> all right, so let's go. If you zoom out, you move a little bit faster. Can go into the, the the hotel. I forget its name, okay? Don't judge me. It's Dark Blue Inn. The loading screen totally didn't tell me what's going on inside. Probably the same as always, right? I wouldn't imagine it being any all that much different. There's that star. <laughs> Just go pick up the star. It's a really easy star to pick up again for Granny for Rochambeau tokens, I can imagine. All right, these guys are annoyed. Let's see, could you ask the front desk to help me? Uh, yeah, okay, so we already read about that. All we gotta do really is, and we've seen this before, is we need to stand right here, and we need to cut it out. We said we did all this in the last episode when trying to solve this puzzle. People were saying I got really lucky with this whole toad puzzle thing, that when the clock goes off, it resets all the toads, you gotta do it again. So I just was really lucky with figuring it out on time, and like knowing what to do, and just sort of the timing of it all. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead, and get, I gotta scroll all the way over, which is the most annoying part. But we got the uh, big old teapot. Let's see what happens here. Ooh, ha, ah, whoa, it's, it's red. That's a little concerning. That's not the color of tea. 
That might be something, uh, some other liquid that's not tea. Because it's not tea. Would you care for some tea? No, not if it's red. Uh, are they drinking it? Oh, I guess they are. They're so happy about it. Goodbye, toads. Enjoy your journey to the second floor and beyond. I hope they have great service wherever they go. All right, looks like the hotel's no longer haunted. Oh, that's so cool. They got like a happy photo now. That's a cool little touch there. I cannot deny. All right, so it's another day. Bright and sunny now for the dark blue inn. Hooray! Mr. Mario, thank you so much for resolving this bizarre conundrum. I'm relieved that our six spooky customers were happy in the end. With that, our hotel will finally open its doors for business once again. Please take this as an expression for our gratitude. Ooh, we get an extra card slot! That's awesome! It's been a while since like episode three since our last card slot. Now if you'll excuse me, I've got a lot of work to do. You're always welcome to come back to the Dark Blue Inn. Well, I wonder if there really are any customers that we'll find. Maybe if we leave and come back, maybe? I'm not sure. Oh, it actually closes the level up for us. Oh, I'm curious. We have to at least hop back in and see if there's any more customers. We've already 100% of the level. I don't think there'll be anything more we can do there. I mean, maybe. Some people are saying I should try one thing. I don't think it's gonna do anything, but we'll just go into the uh, dark blue inn and see what, if there's anything different. All right, now it's really nice. Let's just go inside and see if they have any customers. Like, I'm honestly curious. That'd be nice if there is. Like, that'd be a nice little touch. Let's see. Thanks to you, Mario, we were able to open the doors again. Thank you. You have anything? Can we run our room ourselves? We're completely booked, but we'll make a, a special exception for you, Mario. Would you like to stay the night? Yes. Okay, please put your feet up and take it easy. Oh, this is cool. Which room are we staying in? Ah, this is the life. Was that it? That was that our stay? Oh, we got free health boost. Nice, good morning, I hope you slept well. We didn't get a room. We didn't get a room. We just made us sleep on the couch. Is that really? <laughs> is that your idea of taking in Mr. Mario, the guy who saved your business? Okay, well, let me check this out. They're booked, can we go inside any of the rooms? Hmm, let's see, let's open it up and find out. Let's see if they're total liars or not. Oh yeah, there's a toad in here. How you doing? Uh, this room smells a bit Yoshi-esque, don't you think? I know, and I love it, and I miss them. Apparently people were saying I can just hop off the edge or something, like that there was, oh, what was that? Oh, I think that was a star from when I hit it like that, okay. I don't know, people were saying that maybe I could like hop off the edge here and see something crazy. Doesn't seem to be working, so I don't know why people wanted me to revisit this room. And what's going on here? Uh, hmm. All right then, hello Mr. Toad. Uh, what's up Mario, did you drop something on the floor? Meh, you. <laughs> all right then, this is interesting. I don't think too many of them have a ton to say, but it'll be worth checking them all out just to you know, see the difference. But yeah, I mean, it would be interesting if there was like a toad that represented each of the ghost personality. The door to this room is really clean. It looks like it's brand new. I wonder how long it's been there for. A very long time. It's very cleaned. But yeah, that was the room where everything was unclean. This is the room where everything got, like his glasses got dropped, and that was the Yoshi room. So let's see, I still can't believe we saw Yoshi. And then Petey Pirata, this game is just a combo of like Paper Mario and, and Super Mario Sunshine. In Super Mario Sunshine, you would see a sunny atmosphere where you had to collect stars that look a lot like, you know, they sort of look like shine sprites, really, These the stars in this game. And there's Yoshi, and there's Petey Pirata. Oh, what does room three or three have for us? What room was this? Oh, this is the birdcage one. This room came with a free red bird. Now that's five star service. What are you gonna say? I ain't no stinking Boyd. <laughs> then why did you get in the birdcage? And you got in there yourself without me having to open and close anything. I'm sure you could easily reopen it. Or re, or you always just get out. All right, what about you, dude? Uh, Doesn't the bed in here seem like it's a strange angle? Yes, it does. Because it can be fixed. Err. Oh, so they were just using that to hide the holes. Seems like a safety hazard to me. What's the last this time this place got inspected? Well, if, if you count you know, Mario as both a plumber and an inspector, uh, which he is not, uh, 
<laughs> just very recently. They did not pass. They did not pass at all. All right, and the last toad here. What's going on, dude? Ah, these are the smoothest, softest sheets I've ever car caressed. How often are you caressing sheets? I guess the only thing now would be to go back to the linen closet and see if there's anything going on there. Probably not. Like, you can only imagine. Maybe there's more shy guys though? Just running amok? Hiding in the, the, the bureau? Maybe? I don't know, like at the shelving? We'll have to see and find out together. The hype, what's happening in this room? Nothing, eh. <laughs> all right then, I think we're all done with the Dark Blue Inn. Okay then, so there is the Dark Blue Inn 100%, we've gotten everything inside, we got a new card slot, which means we'll be able to use three cards during battles, so that's gonna help us keep up big time. I wish that was something we could have used when we went against Speedy Piranha, but it's fine, because we were able to finish up a lot of Plum Park. Obviously, there's still more to go in there, I just don't know if it's anything we can access right now. Honestly, I didn't see too much alluding to what we could find. But at the same time, there's still the uh, like the, still parts of the river that we could explore, I'm sure. So with that being said, I think that's where we're gonna finish things off now for Paper Mario Color Splash. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give this if you enjoyed it, make sure to give this video a like, share it with your friends and family, and of course, comment in the comment section below. If you watched this point in the video, make sure you comment Zebra Plum so I know you've watched in the video and that you are a Zebra Task viewer. But either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.